Hi guys. Um, remember last time I said that I had done a video, or I was going to do a video on bees. And I had drawn up some bees here when I said that. And I really actually kind of learned a lot about bees, kind of read up on them. And then I haven't done the video for so long. I, I can't remember some of the things I learned. But I thought, you know what, I just won't wait. I'll just go ahead and we'll do this video on painting bees. Um, the thing that was fascinating to me um, that I learned about with bees is that they're related to the ants. And we did that video on ants and they're kind of uh, have the different sections in their bodies. And that's very much like these bees do. Now bees are not my friend. Um, I've been stung several times. I'm not allergic to them. Some people are allergic to them, but I don't like being stung. Um, there's several types of bees, so I'm just going to start painting here. First, I wanted to show you, actually, um, one of the things that the honeybees do is they collect pollen, and then that helps them make honey. And on these bees' legs, let's see, when I tip it, then you don't see it as well. If you can see right there, the big yellow, and right here, some yellow, look at that. That's pollen that they've collected from flowers. They're gonna take back to their nests or their hives, and they're gonna create honey from that. So that's their food, and then it also becomes our food, because if you like honey, then that's where it's come from, is the bees. Okay, so, um, there's honeybees and wasps and hornets, and I had researched up those, and now I, like I say, I don't really remember a lot of that. But let's go ahead and just look at the bodies of the bees. So they've got a head, a middle body, and a longer body. They've got their wings, which is attached to this second body. And they've got stripes on their third body here. And then their head, and man, do they have big eyes. Look at those eyes. That's kind of creepy to me. But let's go ahead. Oh, and their legs are a little thicker than ants. Do you see they're sectioned? One, one, two, and then this little part at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, kind of Paint. I made some giant bees here that are really kind of freaking me out, but I'm going to just put some color on them. And the one thing I noticed about um, these bees is, this is a big brush. Oh, I'm going to have to reach to get some paper towels. Okay, um, to wipe. So, um, the bodies of the bees, they kind of have, I'm going to change my brush, um, they kind of have little hairs on them all over. The bottom part of the body doesn't have as many hairs, but that's kind of a funny thing. I didn't, bumblebees, they look fuzzy, but all bees didn't really look fuzzy to me, but they, but they are quite fuzzy, and that's quite interesting. Um, so I'm just going ahead and putting some paint on the parts, but one thing, um, but I'll just talk about them while I'm doing that. One thing I noticed about the bees, um, legs is I tried to identify where are those legs? They have six legs. Where are those legs and what are they attached to? And so the first set of legs comes in right after the head and before the next body. So it starts right there and there's a little thin section and then it gets wider and then it gets thin again. And this thin part kind of has little, looks like little pokies on it. I don't think they poke you, but I think they help them grip. I think the bee actually can grip. So the second set of legs is connected to this middle section and not, not right where it's connected to its bottom part, kind of in the middle of the second section, so, and it's one, two, actually there's a, a little part right before there, so one, two, three, and then this bottom part, 
that has, like I said, these little pokies on it, which don't hurt. They just help them hold on to something. Okay, let's go here. So the one comes up, two, three. This bot, this back leg is is attached to the third body, at the at the not at the section where it's attached to the body, but at the top of the section, and it has that same number, one, two, three. They're a little fatter, wider, and then they have this bottom one that's kind of pokey. This is a leg from the other side there. And um, they also have wings, which are attached to the middle section, kind of up in the front of it. And the wings, I drew wings here. And then I realized, oh, proportionately, those wings are pretty long. The wings are about the size of the bee, just under the size of the bee. And you can see through the wings and they have a little kind of a netting, a network, really pretty little lines in the, in the wings, but they're really not, you can't see them unless you really, really look. The eyes are as black as can be. I, I'm gonna paint these eyes. And when I paint them, I'm gonna leave a little white spot in them somewhere. Um, eyes kind of, have highlights and you often will see a little white spot and it it kind of actually makes you feel like there's it's alive if they have a little spot. Um, this is just the beginning of the other eye over here, but I'll just give it a little bit of paint anyway. Uh, the wings, I think I'll do the wings next so then I, I can do the body under the wings. I'm gonna just give it a light a light blue color. Okay, and then we'll come back in and, and give, if we have a minute, we don't want this to be very long, but we'll come back in and give a little bit of pattern to that. We're gonna do the bottom part of the body. And, and that is the part that's striped. And on the bumblebee, it's really evident, the stripes, but the other bees, you see it a little more subdued. So the two colors that the stripes are with are just not that different. They're, they're kind of similar colors. So I'm just gonna come in, it's a little browner than that, but I'm gonna come in there. I'll add it to the, uh, I'm gonna do a little different. Still a little different. There we go. So we can kind of see the difference between the stripes. So we're going to call that good. I'm going to look at the body or look at the heads. They kind of have the brown color and then they have the more red color, so I'm gonna just come in and put a lot of paint on there. Just, and then I can come back and put, I'm gonna do the same color here. Come back and I don't, we're just gonna try to make them look a little fuzzy. And that's gonna come back on a second layer. This will have to dry. I think that looks quite a bit like the bees. I think it just needs to have a little bit of that fuzz, which will come back in. I'm maybe just even going along the edge might create a little bit of that fuzz that we see. There we go. Just a little bit. Oh, the one thing they do have is these little feelers up here and they're kind of in two sections. This one I just drew like this, but when I looked it up close, they kind of have a one and then a two right there. So I'm going to do this B um, and, and then I'm going to wish you well on painting your bees. Got this a little darker here. This leg, we'll bring this in. Uh, every other one to create the 
the stripes there you go and then down here where is their stinger i have wondered for i wondered for a long time whether their stinger was up here on the front or down here on the body well the stinger is down here on the body now some bees and i don't know if i don't they're not honey bees but some bees they um once their stinger once they sting something then their stinger comes off and you know why that is is because let me just show you why because their stinger so i'm going to make this a little stinger it has little barbs on it or like little hooks kind of like a fish hook and so that once they go inside and they want to pull it back out then these little barbs hold it in so when you get stung then you have to find the stinger and get it out so that you're stinging the little part that they put in that makes it sting will stop one way that i've done that is you take a credit card or a flat piece of paper and just rub across where you got stung and it pulls out the stinger quite easily for you. But let your mom and dad do that. Um, or unless you know where there's a flat piece of paper and you feel like you can do that with the pain of the stinging going on too. So the wings are actually two two wings there's a larger wing let's see if we can see that in some of these oh, they actually don't look like they're two wings but i think that they are let's come let's see his wings hmm. uh, i've made them in two little sections here and i I do think they have two wings, but I am going to have to go back and and kind of investigate that. Here are those ginormous eyes. Oh, man, they are big. I don't want them looking at me that much. There we go. Okay, and then we're just going to add a little paint in here to the body or to the legs. And then this guy's quite done as we want to kind of add some a little bit more fluffy to him with a little bit of uh, things that we see so when you see a bee like this up on the flower he's collecting ne uh, nectar from the flower or pollen from the flower and that's what's going on his leg remember we saw those big yellow parts on their legs and then he'll fly when he he'll fly from flower to flower some of the pollen will fall off and then that will pollinate the flower or the plant and then the rest he'll take back to his hive and he'll eat some of it and then he will um it will be used in creating honey Okay, guys, this is a short one. Hope you enjoy drawing your bees and send them my direction um, when you're finished. I'd love to see what you've done. And it's just, they're kind of fun to paint. They're kind of creepy too. Okay, love you. Happy painting. <laughs>